Hey guys, Lorena Magana here with New Filmmakers Los Angeles. Today, I'm talking to director Pornsek Pishashot about his new film, A Conversation About Cheating with My Future Time Traveling Self. Let's take a look at a clip from the film. If you don't want to do it with floozy in the other room, then any girl down the bar will be willing to spread her legs at the side of this place. I mean, this is a hotel screw-up gone right. This is what I talk like in a year, huh? Mom's gonna be so proud. Dude, you gotta cheat on that psychopath with somebody. I mean, how many insurance salesmen get an opportunity like this? The title is pretty much the log line. It's called The Conversation About Cheating with My Time-Traveling Future Self, and it's about a guy who goes back in time to tell himself that his life will get better if he cheats on his girlfriend. How did you come up with the concept for your film? Well, there were two basic, um, I don't know, impetuses, catalysts for it. Uh, one was I really wanted to do a genre of film that was um, where you stripped away all the genre elements, so the only thing that was left was character and relationships, and I really liked that. And I always, always felt that when you saw genre work happening, it was always about very big moments in people's lives, mostly in an adolescent kind of um, story. And so I liked the idea of finding one nuanced moment in, in an adult life and sort of using genre to kind of expand on that. And so that was sort of the, the genre aspect of, of it. And the, the more personal aspect of it was um, I had these two friends, and one had been cheating on his wife for years, uh, and, and he was a good friend of mine. And so I kind of had to reconcile what was my relationship to him and to them and all that. And then, and, and what was my relationship with this whole concept of cheating? Because even though I had never done it, I was friends with someone who was doing it. And then, um, and then what happened is another friend of mine, her husband ended up uh, cheating on cheating on her and so and and she I became with one of the few people who knew about it and one of the things I thought was really interesting was in both of these situations um, the reasons why they were cheating were so similar and it had nothing to do with their relationship or or the other or the significant other not really it had to do with um, the person who cheated where they were in their particular place in their life, they had this idea that they would be in a certain place, and they weren't being completely honest with themselves about why they were the way they were, they were at. So cheating on a spouse or a loved one became a way to kind of uh, take a little control of their life that they had told themselves that they didn't have. And I thought that was interesting, and so those two ideas kind of men blended together to become the film. Was it always your intention to create sort of a, a modern day love story? It, it was my intention. Uh, I think the thing was, and because I, when you watch the film, the conversation comes up is, you know, was it actually about cheating at the end of the day? And, um, and to me, it was about cheating in the fact that it, it has to do with, um, it was only after this guy realized he was going to lose this girl that he realized that he was that he did in fact love this girl, and that was the case that you know in my friends who were cheating that was also the case. I mean, in both of the cases where there was, there was cheating, the couples ended up staying together, and in one it's still kind of a fractious relationship, and he still really much regrets it. On the other, it's, they both or the girl says it's the best thing to happen in their relationship, and and she was like, don't ever tell him this, but like she was like, I we would have broken up within six months because if that didn't happen, because there were so many things that we got in the habit of not talking to each other about because she didn't want to talk about it because he didn't want to talk about it. So it would have ended up in a breakup because they weren't talking. And the cheating forced them to talk about it and forced them to really, you know, see what each other was working with in terms of relationship. And so to me, so yeah, I totally get where you're coming from. But for me, it was this case of this guy always loved this girl, but it was the fact of losing her that made him realize that he's loved her all along. And the dissatisfaction that he had was with his own life and not, and not with her at all. What was it like working with your two lead actors? Well, what really helped was I started with Bobby. I, you know, I wanted someone who, I wanted someone who kind of can give me, the thing I like about this and um, the way I look at it is I see it as a theater piece that you can only do on film. And so I wanted someone who could sort of embra embrace that, who kind of, you know, could play with the, the playness of, of it all. Um, so I started with him, and I wanted someone who could give a lot of range. And I also knew that this was a great chance for an actor to show a lot of range. And so, so I needed to find my actor first. And then from there, it was about, about finding the, uh, the, the, the girl he was playing off of. And Bobby and Haley have been friends for a really long time. And the, the, they've been looking for a chance to work together. And one of my big, um, one of my big uh, concerns were they have such a brother-sister relationship in real life, I wasn't sure if they would be able to bring that as a couple. But they had such good chemistry that I decided, you know, I'm going to take a chance and we're going to do this. And Haley's fantastic. I think the thing about Haley is that she's in such a tiny amount of that movie and people just feel for her and people love her. And she's in maybe a minute of the movie. If you add a little footage together, she's fantastic. Yeah. 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 Yeah.